Also tonight, an historic return to the moon. An American spacecraft is on the lunar surface tonight after a nail-biting landing. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. I went to Zeus border Stefan Kim here with the heart stopping moments as it all unfolded tonight. Bill and Sandra, the lunar lander Odysseus, nicknamed Odie, touched down on the moon's south pole at precisely 6.23 p.m. It's been more than 50 years since an American spacecraft landed on the moon. So why did it take so long? Welcome to the moon. Uh, what an outstanding effort. I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the, si on the surface and we are transmitting. It is the first private spacecraft to ever land on the moon, carrying instruments that will gather information about the lunar surface ahead of NASA's mission to the moon in 2026 with humans on board. The lander, built by Houston-based Initiative Machines, tonight making history. Americans first landed on the moon on Apollo 11 in 1969. We will be here from now on for what uh, will be uh, truly a historic time. That's one small step for man. The last time, back in 1972, on Apollo 17, Odie's mission marking a new chapter in space exploration, landing on the South Pole, the dark side of the moon, considered prime real estate because the permanently shadowed craters are believed to hold frozen water, critical if we want to use the moon as a home base to one day explore Mars and beyond. The moon has one-sixth the gravity of Earth and no atmosphere. So it's a much easier place to launch deeper into the solar system. It really is the launching pad into human exploration out into deep space. Just last month, a Pennsylvania company, Astrobotic Technology, had its first lunar landing mission end in failure. Last year, the Japanese company iSpace and the government of Russia both crash landed into the moon. So why did it take so long to repeat a feat that was first accomplished more than half a century ago? Money. Today, NASA's budget is one-tenth the size. There's also the time delay caused by the distance, about three seconds for signals from mission control on Earth to get to the moon and back. A lot can go wrong in that time. So when the vehicle is actually landing, it pretty much is on its own. Now there's also the technical challenge. Experts compare it to hitting a golf ball in New York and having it go into a hole in L.A. And Lee, you were closely watching this landing today and what it means for future missions. Yeah, I was really glued to it. And the fact when you heard that mission director come on and talk about it, and it, it wasn't the most exciting words, but he came on and said, our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting, which was really incredible because they had communication issues and navigation issues with this. And they actually used some of their NASA payload to help navigate to that South Pole. And it landed in this area that's not explored at a Malapert crater, a little flat area there, and they'll be able to explore. But if you look, all the Apollo missions are there in the center of the moon here, and they went to the South Pole, and that was at 623. So again, that will be the new area that they'll explore to hopefully further their exploration to Mars and beyond. So we will, of course, keep up with it going forward. Back